YouTube, this is Jamie from Becoming Housewife and today I'm showing you guys what I got my one year old and my one month old for Easter on a budget. We are only spending $30 total for all of Easter and this is what is in their baskets and I will show you how much the prices are. If you see behind me right here, I have their Easter baskets on the side. I am getting ready for um, my son's birthday. He'll actually be one on Sunday. So I will make a video about that and post it later, but today we're going to go ahead and look at their baskets. Okay, here are the boys' Easter baskets. I spent $27. Um, five of that actually was because I bought the cutest egg dye kit from Target, so I splurged on an egg dye kit that came out of my Easter budget. So. Uh, I actually spent $22 for both baskets, so $11 about per basket. I shopped mostly at Target and the dollar store, and then I had some clearance items from last year from Walgreens. So this is my one-year-old's basket. I will probably... Oh, first off, I bought their baskets at the dollar store. I opted for these little baskets that um, have the... The basket that can fold down uh, the what is that? I don't know. The wicker handle <laughs> that can fold down. That was the most awkward pause. I'm so sorry. But, um, I opted for the that because I can store these in my Easter bin where I put all of the stuff for Easter in there really easily. So. I went for that option on these little baskets and then we can just use these year after year which will save me two dollars next year when I go to stuff their baskets. Okay, these guys, I will probably put them in a little eggs and put them throughout my husband's basket um, and got him a few things. Actually I had things, well, my husband's basket, <laughs> I always just make him bacon and give him an entire basket full of bacon. That is his... Um, favorite thing to eat in the world and so his basket will have eggs or no his basket will have bacon and I'll probably put some of these cute little carrots and eggs. These were a dollar from the dollar store. This guy, this little Easter frog, I actually got it at Walgreens on 90% off clearance so he was 29 cents last year. I got this little cup um, at Target with a purpose. My one-year-old, he does not know how to drink from a straw yet, but I like this because the straw can't come out. This little guy was $4 at Target, and I think this will be a good learning tool for him and something that is actually practical. Okay, these little, <laughs> these little ears and this little tail, they were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. They're not anything, these are things that are, you know, not anything that are going to be kept forever, but they are something that I want to put on both my one-year-old and my one-month-old and take a picture of them. It'll be one of those embarrassing pictures that they um, will hate me for later in their lives, but it will be so cute on Easter and I can't wait. And then um, I also got my one-year-old some crayons. He's actually never tried crayons. I thought this could be a fun experience to give him a little paper someday and some crayons and see how he does. I'll probably put him in his high chair and <laughs> let him go at it and take him away after about two minutes when he starts putting him in his mouth. <laughs> and then for my one-year-old, um, I didn't really want to do anything super huge. I'll probably take out a few, maybe two peeps and just put them in his basket the day of Easter morning and maybe put some in my husband's basket and I'm not a huge peep person at all but um, this is the only candy that I thought maybe my one-year-old if I cut it up in small bites might be okay eating. He probably won't eat, we probably won't even give him these little, I'm sure we won't give him these little chocolate eight or carrots, but for me, you have to have something chocolate in your Easter basket. It just seems like that's kind of a uh, given. So that is my one-year-old's little Easter basket. And I opted for things that were practical, like the little cup and the crayons. I don't think I would have gotten a little stuffed animal except for I found it last year on clearance and 
Um, I totally forgot I even had it this year. The Easter grass, it's pretty cheap. I think at um, the Dollar Tree, you can buy it for a dollar, but I actually got mine. This is gonna sound ridiculous, but um, I got mine off the side of the road one day when um, somebody had a yard sale and they used to own a craft boutique and they had bags and bags of like Easter grass that was still packaged and um, they're just giving it away for free and I thought that's awesome I will never have to buy Easter grass for the rest of my life and I just have to store it as well in my Easter bin that has all of my Easter decor and such in it okay for my one month old uh, I got this little lammy last year at Walgreens again 90% off I'm guessing he was about the same price about 29 cents um, I don't think I would pay more than that for a little stuffed animal because really I'm these are just little things that I feel like they're gonna not you know be something that they're gonna keep forever there's something that they're gonna kind of play with and then they'll go to DI and or DI is like Goodwill in Utah um this was my son's last year I bought it from a Target it just says my first Easter and it has a cute little uh, pants and a, one, a onesie with it and there's a little guy on the tail again so um, I'm just repurposing that for his Easter outfit again these little guys I got at the dollar store they were a dollar piece and then in his basket I found these um, it's a five piece set finger puppets they're pretty cool they're pretty heavy and durable um, they were five dollars at Target not the best price if you consider that each little guy is a dollar but um, they were pretty cute and this is about the level he's at it says three years and up I'm not so super worried about that even though he's only a month old I'm sure this will be something that my husband and I will put on our fingers as he grows up and just kind of play around with both of our sons with these little animals on and have fun with that so that is what I got this year for our little babies for Easter. Not spending a ton of money and I'm not buying, I don't want to invest in things that, um, you know, the bigger gifts, this guy was $5, this guy was $4 and I felt like they were higher quality things, but I kind of find it ridiculous. I feel like we have so many toys, so many things. I like to not have a super cluttered space and so, not going overboard with Easter and I kept it about $11 per basket on average and uh, yeah so that is what we're getting for Easter. I hope you guys found this helpful and that you all have a happy holiday.